Welcome to my quick and easy The Whisperer Guide. The Whisperer is located in the exact same area as the Desert Treasure 2 quest, so I won't go over how to get here. From initial testing it seems the boss is weak to magic, so bring your best magic gear, for me that's arms and a sang, but a Tumakins is best and a trident works fine. Remember, this is a day one guide so gear recommendations could change and new mechanics could be discovered, however the mechanics and fight overview in this video will help you out whenever you watch this. Just make sure to check the wiki for updated gear setups. The Whisperer is one of my favourites out of the four because there's zero chip damage, you can mitigate basically every piece of damage in this fight, so if you play perfectly you can get 5 plus kill trips. The Whisperer has a lot of mechanics, but when you understand them and practice them a little bit you will be on the road to a perfect kill. The Whisperer uses all three attack styles, however it'll only use melee when it's close to you. It has 5 phases and after phases 1, 2 and 3 it uses a special attack. First, let's go over the phases. Throughout the entire fight there are two constants, the Whisperer attacks you with ranged and magic attacks and it spawns tentacles on the floor, however these attacks function differently in each phase. This is a lot of information so bear with me, but I'll help you digest it towards the end of the video. During phase 1 the Whisperer will fire 3 of the same attack at the player, so if the first attack is magic all 3 will be magic and if the first hit is ranged all 3 will be ranged. At the end of every third attack 4 tentacles will spawn in an X pattern. To avoid this, simply move one or more tiles in either the north, east, south or west direction. When enough damage is dealt, the Whisperer will use a special attack and transition into phase 2. After every special attack, the Whisperer will freeze the player and walk towards you to do a big melee hit. To prevent this, simply ice barrage or use an ice spell on the Whisperer and it'll freeze it in place preventing the attack. During phase 2, the tentacles function the exact same. After every 3 attacks, they spawn in an X pattern. However, the Whisperer's attacks do change. This time it'll fire two of the same style, then swap off for the third. It'll either fire two magic hits and then a ranged hit, or two ranged hits and then a magic hit. It's important to note that the Whisperer's attacks damage is dealt on contact with the player, so make sure you're praying correctly when the attacks actually hit you. During phase three, the Whisperer's attacks are exactly the same. However, now the tentacles have a different attack. They can either spawn in the X pattern that you're used to, or in a plus pattern. To avoid the plus pattern tentacles, simply walk one tile or more diagonally. During phase 4, the tentacles function the same as phase 3, however the Whisperer's attacks have once again changed. Now they're alternating. They do ranged magic then ranged, or magic ranged then magic. Once phase 4 is defeated, you are forced into the Shadow Realm and must defeat the boss. When you get hit by tentacles and during the Whisperer's special throughout the entire fight, your insanity at the top left drains throughout the entire fight. If everything is done properly, you should have 100% here which makes it very easy and gives you a lot of time. However, if your insanity drops to 0% during the enrage phase, instantly teleport out or else you will probably die. The more mechanics you do right during the entire fight, the higher your insanity is for this final DPS check. On the enrage phase, simply run around the room hitting the boss, the Whisperer now attacks with 2 ranged followed by 2 magic attacks and repeating. Tentacles now spawn more often, however if you run around the room every attack, you shouldn't really get hit by any of them at all. Do note however, insanity drains from these tentacles too. So if you have got 100% here but get hit like 5 times, your insanity could very well drain to zero really fast, so do be careful. And that's basically it for the phases. As I said, confusing, so let's go over the special attacks really quickly and then you can follow me through an easily digestible boss fight. As stated previously, the Whisperer has three specials. For each of these specials you need to use the Blackstone Fragment from the quest to enter the Shadow Realm and deal with them. The first special is the Pillars. The Whisperer will spawn pillars in the room, once you enter the Shadow Realm you can see their hit points. Identify the pillar with the most health and the pillar with the second most health, stand behind a low health pillar as soon as possible. The Whisperer will then let out three waves. After the first, move to the pillar with the second most health, then after that one, move to the one that's left. This will negate all damage. The second special is the Ghosts. Now, I feel like there could be something hidden on this phase, but to prevent the Whisperer from healing and dealing a devastating blow, simply kill the two yellow Ghosts that say Vita. This will negate all damage and healing. And finally, the third special is the Orbs. A bunch of Orbs spawn on the floor and some are lit up. Simply stand on the lit up Orbs to complete this phase. Once complete, if no mistakes have been made, you'll regain 15 insanity. If you do stand on a wrong orb, not only do you not regain sanity at the end, but you will also take damage. And that's it. 
This is the most mechanically intensive boss, which makes it the most satisfying to learn as taking no damage on a kill feels amazing. Now, I understand this is difficult to digest, so let's go through an almost perfect kill together so you can see the gameplay loop. Everything is the same every time except the order of the special attacks, so this should prove very helpful. Okay, let's do an easily digestible kill. Enter the room, pop up, click the disturb button, and then wake them up. You've got to react to the prayers, but remember it's the same attack three times in a row. So this one's range, and then you've got to move out of the way on the third attack. React again, this one's magic, and then move out of the way on the third attack again. This is the structure of the entire fight. At a certain health, she'll go into a first special. This one is pillars, so enter the shadow realm and identify the highest health pillar. Stand on a low health one, move to the next, and then move to the highest health because it'll be the only one left alive. She does three waves. After this, you can start hitting the boss and she'll more than likely freeze you. It doesn't happen every time, but like now, it didn't freeze for some reason. I don't know why, I think it could be to do with distance. So this phase, it's two attacks of one, one of the other, but the tentacles can only go in an X pattern still. So two mage, one range, move out of the way. Two range, one magic, move out of the way. Rinse and repeat. Now the second special. This one is the ghost, so enter the shadow realm and quickly find the yellow ones that say Vita. You've got to kill them both and make sure that they are fully defeated by the time that the um, Whisperer's health bar goes to zero. Then you won't take any damage and she won't heal. Now she'll freeze you, so be careful. Cast Barrage on her only when she starts moving. If you Barrage early, she will not get frozen, so do it only when she starts moving. Now this is phase three, so the attacks from the Whisperer are the same, but as you can see, the tentacles can go in a plus pattern. When this happens, walk one or two squares diagonally and you'll not get hit. Sometimes it's an X, so be careful. Now this is the third special, the orbs. Enter the shadow realm and stand on all of the lit up orbs. I don't think this is the best route for this one. I should have started at the side. Ah crap, took some damage. But either way, you stand on all the orbs. Because I've taken damage this time, I won't actually get my insanity back up. So as you can see, it's at 66 and it will stay there. Phase four, it's gonna freeze you again, cast ice barrage and attack it. Now it's going to alternate attacks. So range, magic, range, but the tentacles can also spawn in an X or a plus again. Simply pray, react, pray, react until this phase is done. Now the enraged phase. It's gonna always start ranged from what I've found, so make sure you're praying ranged and run around the room. Move after every attack, and it's two range, then two magic, then two range, then two magic. During this phase, if this insanity goes to zero, you will get damaged for a lot, and it drains your prayer slowly throughout the fight. So make sure that you do keep using your restore pots or prayer pots or whatever you're using. As you can see, if you've got a high sanity here, it's just a DPS check, and if you're not hit by the tentacles, your sanity doesn't drain too much, so it should be fairly easy. But if you make any mistakes during the fight, your sanity is going to be a lot lower, so you need to do this quicker. If you run around the room praying properly, you shouldn't really take any damage from the tentacles because you are constantly moving. Rinse and repeat until the boss is dead. And there we go. I hope that helped out. I think the full fight run through is probably the best way to explain this boss because it's fairly complicated. And good luck with the uniques.